And the idea behind this, we're watering it down. That, that's what's happening. Okay. That's a me thing, that's not a book thing. All right. That's that's what we're doing. We're watering it down. There's some math reasons of how we're going to get to this. Basically, we're going to rearrange the molarity equation. You don't need to know that. Okay? To make a dilution or to find out how much you need to add for anything is molarity one, volume one, two, molarity two. Okay. Using that, we can find lots of different things. We can find the amount of the amount of solids. We can find how much water we've got to add to get to this type of equation. All we've got to know is the, either the starting or the ending molarity and volume, and one of the other two. All right. Literally, we're just going to rearrange this, and you divide the one you don't need across. That is all there is to rearrange this. All right, so let's get over now and give us a little bit of space. Okay, so how many milliliters? Okay, so how many milliliters of 2.00 molar magnesium sulfate solution must be diluted with water to prepare 100 milliliters of 0 0.400 molar magnesium sulfate? All right, so here, here's what we're asking. How many milliliters of this do I have to add to water to get to that? that that's, that's all it's asking. All right, we'll, we'll talk the actual process here in just a second. So we know that maybe one, maybe one, maybe two, maybe two. It doesn't matter which one you're calling one and two, right? Because it's going to rearrange the same. Okay, well, just for the timeline of the question, we'll call this one and that two. All right? So what is our molarity of one? 2.00. So we're starting off with 2.00 molar. Now, just so you know, when we're talking about these dilutions, it always gets weaker. We, we can't make it stronger without adding solvent. If you, if you are trying to make it stronger, you have to add solvent. With dilutions, you add water and water it down. Okay, we want to know what the volume we need, right? If, whenever we dilute it down with water, we're going to get a new molarity, which is 0.400. And my volume is 100.0 milliliters. OK. 
Okay, so molarity one, volume one is equal to molarity two, volume two. What are we looking for? Volume. Volume. The first volume, right? The volume that we need to start with. So. This, there's not a lot to this equation. It's a really simple question. Okay, so 0 0.400 times 100 divided by 2 gives me one, let's see, 200? This me twenty milliliters. Maybe it's All right. So to prepare this, I need twenty milliliters of that. So so here's the here's the process that goes into this math. Okay. Okay, so we said we needed how much magnesium sulfate of the two molar? 0 0.4. No. What did we literally just find? How many milliliters? Two? We need 20 milliliters. All right, so. Step one. From our example, I'm going to add whoops. okay, we're going to add 20 milliliters of the two molar magnesium sulfate, right? enough water to get to the final volume. So what was the final volume that we had on there? Look back at the question. It's crazy if you take notes, you can look back at the question. 100 milliliters. 100 milliliters, okay. So I am, I'm not adding 100 milliliters of water. I'm adding enough water to get to 100 milliliters. So how much water do I actually have to add? <laughs> 80 milliliters, because how much do I already start with? 20, okay. Whenever I do that, I've now changed it from 2 molar to 0.4 molar. I've watered it down. Okay, so from this, I can ask two different questions. I can ask, how much do I need to start with? 
Or I can ask, how much water do I need to add? Okay, so there's two possible questions. How much do I start with is 20 milliliters. We, we did that in the math. If I'm asking how much water I start with, I have to look at how much I start, or how much, sorry, how much water I have to add, my bad. You have to look at how much you're starting with versus the total amount. Okay, so one answer would be 20 milliliters. The other answer would be 80 milliliters. Okay, so finding both of those could be a question. I'm not actually find, probably find both of them on the same question, but. Uh, go run down the drain. Does everybody kind of see what's happening with this? We'll see what's kind of going on. Okay, okay we're going to start with, I'm actually going to have you find both for a moment. I'm, not, I'm, I'm having you find both things. Regardless of this one, you're always going to have to find this one first. All right, so this one you're always going to have to find, whether it's the answer or not. Do y'all need me to work on it or you want me to throw the answers out there? What about everybody else? If anybody says they want me to work it out, I'll work it out. Just the first one has to count too. No, either one. Um, I don't need to work the second one out, but I think that's the other person. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this one should be. Everybody get 47.5 milliliters. Okay, like I said, super easy equation. Not hard at all. Okay. 
Okay, so how much water must you add? So it's going to be total volume, which in this case is 250. Sorry, which is right here. Now we can also work backwards. I give you the starting amount, uh, the molarity, and then one of the endings, and we should be able to find out how much the total volume is and, and find the same stuff, right? It's just looking at it from the opposite direction, the other side of the coin. Okay, so talk me through the process of making the solution. So what are we going to do? Process-wise. Because this, okay, this, this math side of it is nice. This is something you'll actually use in college chemistry. Like, you're, you're going to make dilutions. Because it's easier to have really strong, like, acids and things. And then just dilute them to whatever molarity you need. Instead of having 75 different molarities, you have one, and then you just prepare it. <sighs> right, so. Starting with 47.5. Okay, so, so tell me what I'm going to do. Put 47.5 milliliters of. Of the stronger solution, okay, into a beaker. Great. Right? Then what I'm gonna do? Then you add okay. the 202.5 milliliters of water. There you go. That, I mean, that's that's all there is to it. You just got to know what the numbers mean and how I do it. Okay. Now there are some procedural type things, like when we're dealing with acids. You all you add the acid to the water. You don't add the water to the acid. Mm -hmm. If you do that, bad things happen. It's weird. Like it, it will start to bubble and fizz and bounce everywhere and like splash. But if you add the acid to the water, it mixes a lot more slowly. You don't have that reaction. All right. So that stuff you go over like when you actually do this. All right. For our purposes, and we, we ain't got time. We got to roll. All right. Any other questions? All right, well, let's get through the last. There are two more things. I hate percentage type questions and percentage equations because I think they're dumb and half the time I think they're false. Like it's, it's wonderful to know what percent of this is, okay, wonderful. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's what molarity is there for, to tell you how strong it is. You don't need to know the percent. I've never had to, but it's an easy question. We have two percentages when we're talking about solutions. And I'm actually going to put them both up here on the same page because they're that ones. Then we have percent by volume. And this is abbreviated kind of weird. Percent volume over the volume. That's percent volume. So if we, let's just kind of use common sense of what we're going to be doing. If we want to know the percent volume of a solute, how would we probably do that? Divide volume by volume and times it by 100. Okay, volume of what and volume of what? The volume of one divided by volume. No, uh, volume, volume of oh. the solution over the volume of the beaker. Begin. Beaker. You're, you're close. Okay, okay you, you got the right, you're right there. Okay, but remember, we're not talking necessarily about the beaker or anything like that. We're talking about the solution itself. So you do have right. We are going to use the volume of the solution. So that's the, but that's the overall. Solid over, oh, no, no, no. Solid over solution. You're, you're close. That's it.
And these, I'm not ever going to make you rearrange just because, like, I don't like these anyway. Like, I really find them pointless. But they go over them, and you're going to have to go over it later on. Why? I don't know. And the other one is percent by mass. Okay, so give me a venture of what this is probably going to be. I give you those things, can you find that percent? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I might give you one of each of those. Now, there'll probably be someone on the homework. Because they're easy. They are easy. Yeah. And so I just, I don't want to run through it if somebody wants me to work. You want me to work one out? You're just, you're just staring at me, so I just want to make sure you're okay. I was not trying to, like, call you out on that. I was just, when people stare at me, it's usually like, please, oh, please do one. Please, oh, please do one. All right, if you, if you decide you do want to do one of these, there are examples in the slides that I give you that are worked out, that are answered. But we've done enough percentage stuff, this should be fairly simple. Okay, any of our percent stuff is, I mean, it's percent. Why do we need an equation? It's what we're looking for over the total times 100. That's it. All right, any questions? All right. That is the lesson. We done.